What's up? My name's Peter, and you're watching Broke Visionary Collective. And for this video, I'm gonna show and teach you guys how you turn your typical plain Jane video and make it more cinematic, whether that you wanna make it look more professional, or you just wanna make it look a little bit more fancy. Well, stay tuned. Tip number one is what I like to call the anamorphic look or that 16 by nine ratio that you get in films and movie theaters. And how I like to cheat and do it is whether you're on Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, first thing you need to do is use the crop tool. And you just put that on top on your adjustment layer. And you put the top and bottom to either eight, 10, or 12%. But personally for me and my own style preference, 8% crop on the top and bottom is usually what works for me in my professional videos and my own cinematic videos. Because not only that it makes the little room tighter, but you can it gives you room so you can move the footage up and down. So whether or not you wanna cover something, hide something, some kind of imperfection, crop, remember, crop, 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 crop. Tip number two is make sure you have the proper exposure and make sure your blacks are blacks and your whites are white, no racial. So when it comes to having this proper setting on your video settings, make sure your video is not either overexposed or underexposed. On top of that, when it comes to properly, you know, correcting your footage, you wanna make sure that, for me personally, when it comes to making things more cinematic and more film-like, whether you're a fan of Justin Escalona or Steven Spielberg. For me, I personally like to have my video footage a little bit more punchier. What does that mean? That means I like to have a little bit more contrast. And for all my Adobe Premiere users, I like to use Luma Curve. And you do that simply by dragging down the Luma Curve effect tool onto the clip, and you can use your reference monitor, and you can see whether or not you wanna bring in the blacks and bring in the whites so they're not being either crushed or being dragged out too much. And then what I do afterwards is to have a little bit more contrast. You pull in your whites a little bit and you pull in your darks a little bit. Now your, your video is a little bit more contrasting and what video people like to say, it has a little bit more punch. See, before, punch. Third tip when it comes to making films or videos more professional is you wanna color grade. And color grading is completely like has its own video on its own on the different complexities of actually color grading and putting on, it's essentially putting on a filter on a video. And certain people have different ways, but the most simple basic color correction that you can use is on Adobe Premiere's Fast Color Corrector. And you, simple things like making sure your whites are white. So you click the teardrop and you click on something that's white bump up the saturation and color correct it or put a little grade, whether your clip's too yellow, you wanna make it a little more blue. Whether it's too blue, you wanna apply a little bit more yellow. And yes, of course, you can use my favorite tool is the three-way color corrector. And I like to use things like color split. So making your shadows blue and your mid-tones and your highlights yellow. But it really depends on your preference and what mood you're trying to go for when you're doing cinematic looks and themes. And of course, there's your Adobe Premiere CC users that use LUTs, which are essentially pre-programmed filters by another person that you can apply on your clip. So it gives out the whole video a consistent look. Tip number four is if you don't have the necessary funds and you're just starting out, like how I used to start out, is make sure you do really careful movements. And then on top of that, you apply warp stabilizer or some kind of stabilizing tool onto your footage. So it mimics that of a steady cam, a gimbal, without spending five to $600 on whatever kind of equipment you want. Because if you want to shoot films, money should not be that end all be all to stop you from doing something that you're truly passionate about. And my last and final words is don't let people break down and critique your videos because there's a specific standard that you should follow. When it comes to making videos more cinematic, 
more film-like or more professional is that the more hours that you put into it and you're constantly being able to look at your videos and be like, hmm, I could have fixed that. I could have done that. Maybe I should do a little bit more research on that. Don't let other people cripple you and you aim for perfection, right? It's all about execution and having hours and hours of work. And then through that work, you'll learn how to make videos, your videos, look a tad bit more professional and cinematic. And if you apply all these steps, you will be able to constantly get better and look at how your films used to be and to where they are now. And that's my basic tips on how you make any plain Jane video look and a lot higher on its production value than it actually is. Because truth be told, you can do a lot of these things on your phone.